Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can leverage Gen AI capabilities uh, in Power Platform. When I say Gen AI, uh, it is Azure Open AI uh, services to be precise. Uh, for that, you need to go to obviously uh, make.powerautomate.com and then you need to click on AI Hub. Uh, please ensure that you have sufficient or required uh, AI builder credits there. And since we want to work with Gen AI or prompts, so you, uh, you need to select uh, AI prompts. So here you see different templates available. Uh, you can create your custom prompts also. So uh, today uh, in this video, I'm going to show uh, classification using Gen AI or Azure Open AI uh, service. So we will select classified text. Uh, so I name my this prompt to uh, text classification prompt. And as you see, uh, this prompt is already given there. Uh, so it's a pretty precise, very good example of uh, good prompt. Uh, so I think no need to change anything here. We'll just use this as it is. Just save this. So now my prompt is saved here. I'll just close this window and I would like to now use my this prompt in my flow. So for that you need to create a flow. I will be creating one flow from scratch and that will be your instant cloud flow I just name it my text classification flow so what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, pass my text which I need to get uh, categorized or classified as well as uh, the list of categories so Maybe um, we can take an example of personal information text. So we'll try to identify whether uh, some text is having uh, any personal information and, or uh, does that fall into that category or not. So for that, uh, first of all, we will have our inputs. So our first input would be text to be classified so basically this will be my text that I want to get classified second thing is categories so these are my two inputs now I need to use my prompt so I will add an action I'll have to select AI builder you can search as well like AI Builder and then you can select create text with GPT using a prompt so here you need to select your prompt so this is our prompt the whole list of your prompts your saved prompts uh, will be uh, shown here you just select whatever is needed as soon as we select this, this will ask for input text. So that will be my dynamic input. So text to be classified and then input category. So my input category would be categories. So this looks good so far. So the output that uh, Azure OpenAI will give, I can either send an email or maybe here for our demo purposes, I will just have a variable and will show you that value there in the variable itself. So I'll initialize my variable. Variable name is maybe identified category and the type would obviously be string initial value would be the value 
generated by my prompt. So I select this and let's save this. So here you see this uh, warning. Uh, just ignore this for now. But when actually you create any uh, flow for your production uses, you should uh, address this warning uh, where uh, it is asking to have one action uh, for the output approval. Um, because a GPT uh, might not uh, generate the output uh, accurately uh, every time. So uh, Microsoft recommends that we should have uh, certain steps or an action where somebody uh, some human in loop would uh, approve the output and then only you use it so click on save and test so uh, i have got some text that i'll be using uh, so this particular text is basically having some personal information like name, uh, its organization name and, and the location, uh, its mobile number, right? Uh, something related to his uh, diseases, uh, etc. Uh, the possible categories that I want to enter is a personal information or non-personal information so let's run this so as we see this text should fall under personal information category but let's run it so my flow is executed and you see uh, the identified category is actually personal information Right. Uh, now let's try to run this one more time with some text where uh, we don't have any personal information and let's see so test it again and my text could be patient id 195 is suffering from uh, diabetes the treatment will require insulin dose so i know um, if I'm not wrong, this is not a personal information. So this should fall under non-personal information category. So run this. And this is done. Let's quickly see the category. So as you see, this is this falls under non-personal information category. So this is how you can uh, use uh, this AI prompts in uh, Power Automate or in Power Platform. Hope this helps. Thank you.